Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Quick Bite Review. Today, we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to do the viewer's choice on the french fries that we had you guys vote on a few weeks ago. And we're going to go to each one of these places individually, and we're going to try them out and see how they stack up against one another. And uh, let's just get into it. First up, we got Burger King, right? They are the king of burgers, according to them. Let's see if they're the king of french fries. First bite. So initial impression, nice, hot, warm french fries. That's kind of the reason why we did this this way, as opposed to making it um, a main page video, because I feel like when you bring french fries back home from the drive through no matter how close you are, they are uh, just not quite as hot, quite as fresh as when you first got them, right? So giving these companies each the benefit of the doubt, just having it right here in the parking lot, it's going to be as fresh and as tasty as it can be. These are tasty fries. Um, nice, warm, good crisp on the outside. Uh, don't know whether or not you guys can hear it when I bite into it, but, you know, golden delicious. Nothing that you uh, wouldn't expect from any of these major chains as far as good french fries are concerned. Uh, I think the initial impression about these is that the flavor of potato is good. It's just um, a little under salted, in my opinion. Now with Burger King, I had once read that the reason why their potatoes taste a little bit differently is because they actually coat them in something before frying. Uh, I, I don't know if that's still the case or if it ever even was the case. If anybody who's worked at Burger King can maybe let me know down in the comments section. Uh, I do know that they, they do have a little bit of a different kind of uh, vibe to them. Uh, they don't just taste like normal potato french fries. There is like a touch of something else going on there. I don't know, maybe it's even in the oil that they fry it in. But uh, I am a fan of Burger King french fries. I do think that they taste pretty good. Also something to note with Burger King french fries, if you guys can kind of get a, a beat on how thick those are. These are a bit thicker than, say, something like a McDonald's french fry. Um, they are kind of going for that vibe, just like a golden, kind of thinner cut french fry. But they're not shoestring uh, by any means. You know, they, they are a, a bit thicker, almost like a, like a medium cut. You know, it's not quite as thick as, say, like a steak fry or something like that. But the kind of the texture and the, the toothiness, I guess, of it um, is different than, say, some uh, other french fries that you would have in the fast food world. Next up, we have McDonald's french fries. Some people consider this kind of the gold standard, pun intended, for, um, you know, fast food french fries. They are uh, known to be, you know, salty, golden, delicious. It's what you think of when you think of french fries. Let's see how they stack up. Okay, so yeah, you know, as much as... I remember them being, uh, you know, salty, kind of good, crisp, uh, tender on the inside. That's what we've got right here. Granted, I am here, at, you know, almost just after breakfast, so it's as fresh as they're going to be. But good uh, salt content here. I would say they are a touch saltier um, or better seasoned than maybe um, Burger King, and I would say uh, good crisp, uh, maybe a little less crispy than Burger King, um, but still really tasty. Let you guys get a look at this. So the cut of these french fries is a little bit more almost like a julienne kind of cut. It is thinner than what Burger King is doing. And I don't know if it's the temperature that they fry these at or maybe the fact that there's a little less surface area because of the cut. They tend to hold oil a little differently than the ones at Burger King. Burger King, I, I don't know that I've ever had a greasy Burger King french fry. Uh, and you know, your mileage may vary on that. Sometimes people like them to be a little greasier. Uh, that's not necessarily my favorite, but McDonald's holds the oil content pretty well. And uh, sometimes that's a good thing. It kind of adds like that flavor. And other times, as anybody who's ever had like a soggy McDonald's french fry, it can become unappealing. Next up, we have Five Guys. So, they really only have a handful of things at Five Guys. It's pretty much burgers, fries, and milkshakes. So when you have that kind of slim of a menu, 
I imagine that these are going to be pretty good french fries. Uh, I've had their burgers like a while back. There's just not like a ton in the area that's by me. And I remember the burgers being very good, so I imagine that the french fries are going to be exceptional. Let's see how they taste. So, these are very good. Um, really well salted, nice and warm. They were pretty much uh, fried as soon as I walked in to order, which was great. Uh, another thing to note is that the cut of these is probably closer to Burger King's than it is to say something like um, McDonald's. This is almost like the kind of cut you would expect to get inside of a restaurant. And the reason why is because these are hand cut French fries. They're not uh, they're not machined. Another thing is they leave the, you know, kind of like the partial skins on there, and it it's it's nice. Uh, again, your mileage may vary. Some people don't like that. I actually find that appealing. It kind of adds like a little bit of a extra texture. It holds on to the oil in a pleasant way, and it makes for um uh, a, an appealing mouth uh, texture. Another thing that's interesting with Five Guys is I know that they fry their um, french fries in peanut oil. And I'm just curious to see what the oils are that these other companies fry their french fries in. If you guys know, if you worked at maybe a McDonald's or a Wendy's or a Burger King, let us know down in the comments section. Um, I know a while back, McDonald's fried their french fries in beef tallow. And I think now it's just vegetable oil, if I'm not mistaken. And um, if you were... Somebody that remember French fries from McDonald's tasting different years ago, they do taste different because of the oil change. Um, but the peanut oil in these from Five Guys really complements kind of the rustic vibe that they have going for them, and it's uh, very, very tasty. Uh, another thing that's crazy with uh, Five Guys as opposed to these other companies is really what they consider a small serving of French fries. So... Even though you guys kind of saw like the cup and that seems like a pretty reasonable amount. This is the bag that I got and I want to tell you that about that much of it is still filled with french fries. So they pretty much give you like a cup's worth and then like a third of a brown paper bag's worth. I mean it, it, it's a lot of french fries but uh, you definitely get your money's worth with five guys. Next up, we have Chick-fil-A. Uh, this company is obviously more known for their chicken products, but I've heard pretty good things about the waffle fries, and I'm curious to see how uh, the cut of these french fries kind of alters the texture and the taste uh, in comparison to the other companies. Let's see how they taste. So... Well salted, really good uh, salt balance there. Some of the uh, the other companies, again, it could just be that individual drive through, you know, the people making the fries, but it did seem a little undersalted at Burger King. These have a nice salt content. Uh, they are a bit on the softer side. I do think that that is because of the nature of the fry. I mean, I've had crispy. Um, waffle cut style fries before at other restaurants um, and not saying that there isn't some kind of a, a, a crisp there you do get some texture I do just kind of uh, feel myself wishing that it was a bit crispier uh, I get sometimes that it's nice aesthetically to get that kind of uh, light golden brown color because it looks good when you you eat with your eyes but I do think sometimes actually I think most often if you ask people when it comes to french fries some of their favorite parts it's usually the you know, kind of little burnt crispy pieces, right? It adds the most texture, it holds on to the oil well and the salt, and it gives a good flavor balance. That being said, these are still really tasty fries. Also something to note is that Chick-fil-A, uh, similar to Five Guys, they leave the skin on um, for their french fries when they cut them. And to me, I... Again, your mileage may vary. I, I do like that when it comes to french fries. The more rusticness of adding or, or rather leaving the skin on, I think it holds the oil pretty well and, and, and the salt well. It kind of gives something else other than just the, um, you know, the potato itself uh, something to grab a hold of. 
So last up, we have Wendy's. Uh, I like what Wendy's does with most of the other products on their menu. If I'm being honest, I don't know how well these are going to stack up to some of the other ones that we've had because they've been pretty good, but I am curious to see uh, what the differences are, at least, between these and maybe uh, a company like Burger King or McDonald's. So, right off the rip, they're more the size of McDonald's french fries. They're cut in that same vein, almost like a julienne, right? And uh, also, they keep the skin on, so more like kind of um, what Chick-fil-A and Five Guys were doing in that sense. There's a good salt balance on these. Uh, the only thing is they, they are kind of on just on the verge of being a little soggy and I got them pretty fresh. I got this right around lunchtime and they aren't as crisp as some of the other french fries that we've had. So a little lackluster, maybe the texture department, but still good flavor um, and uh, uh, good salt balance. You really get the potato flavor with this. So if when you have french fries, which your mileage may vary, me personally, I like when they tend to lean on the side of almost a little too salty. Um, but these are 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 good balance of salt and the potato flavor. Um, they remind me, honestly, of Chick-fil-A in the kind of flavor profile that there's a certain umami or something on the back end of this, uh, maybe with where they source their potatoes or you know the oil that they fry it in that it has a distinct flavor to it. And I think that if Chick-fil-A would have done French fries instead of the waffle cut fries, this is probably more reminiscent of what it would have been. That pretty much wraps it up as far as the French fries go. Again, this was a viewer's choice. Uh, this is the things that you guys kind of wanted to see me do. The companies that we had covered is Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, Big Three, obviously. I threw Chick-fil-A in there as kind of a curveball because they do uh, the waffle cut fries, and I wanted to see how that kind of made a difference. And then another one that was really highly um, uh, suggested was a uh, the fries from Five Guys. The king of French fries, in my opinion. Again, your mileage may vary, but I think honestly when it comes to some of these things and I know that I say that that you know everybody's kind of you know mileage varies on some of these things I do think subjectively that five guys french fries are just head and shoulders better than any of these other companies they're larger portion french fries they're cooked in peanut oil which adds a great flavor they leave the skin on which adds a great texture there's tons of salt on them uh, the cut is like a rustic cut because they're hand cut. It's just, it checks all the boxes with, you know, texture, flavor, uh, you know, a little bit of that kind of oily, salty crispiness that you, you want from a really good French fry. And it, it's, it's what you get when you have five guys fries. I would say the only thing I wish maybe was a little different with five guys is that they were maybe a hair crisper. But again, that's just being, uh, you know, nitpicky about it. They're fried fresh. I mean, it's it's everything you want in a French fry. It was almost unfair, if I'm being honest, to put them in the same category as some companies like, you know, uh, McDonald's and Burger King, because they are a little bit kind of an elevated version of a fast food establishment. Um, but that being said, if you have to go with any of these companies, and and fries is the name of the game or what you're after you know to kind of satisfy a, a craving you have then hands down it has to be five guys so that about wraps it up for us here over at fast food face off thank you guys again for watching we always appreciate it please head on over to our instagram so that i can do more videos like this for you the content that we created today was based off of the viewers votes for the french fries that were in today's video and i would love to just kind of keep having that kind of back and forth with you to see what uh you guys want me to do in future videos if you enjoyed the video smash that like button if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one